how to create a random color multi-selection design in Photoshop CC 220. Similar to 19 to 18. Key panels for this, layers, actions, and brush settings. Now this video uses an earlier video to set up all the actions. It uses a brush, uses transform selections to apply the effect. And there's the action there. It's transform selection, which just keeps reducing each and every time and applies a brush that's in a random color. There's the transform select command in the select menu. And we go to the brush tool. You see the brush settings there. Go to the brush tool. Let's go over to and then color dynamics and set all the color dynamics to that. That's explained in an earlier video. I just want to quickly show you that's what I do. Now I'm going to use a selection, a very basic selection. I'm just going to go for the elliptical marquee tool and I'm just going to apply it all the way around. I'm just going to apply multiple very small circles. You could make it uniform, just go all the way around. I'm just going to do it quickly, just add a load of these circles. Hold the shift down as well. And you can see the design there. So once you've done that, I'm going to create a layer. I want to create it on a layer. So layer and new layer. Click OK. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the action. And I said, there's an earlier video showing all these actions. Various, but I'm using 97, 97 for the height and width for the transformation. So it's reduced each time. Just go down to the bottom and there's a play button there. So just press it multiple times, three, four, 10, 15, as many times you would. And you, of course, could set up different actions for 95, 95 or 90, 90, up to you. Just keep applying all the way to that central position. And go all the way. You don't have to go all the way. Obviously, you can stop at a certain point. Up to you. You could do it for the rest of the evening. Probably stop at some point. Now, once you've created that, you've got this lovely multicolored design, which is on a layer. So you can go to select and deselect. That just removes the selection. And now you've got this layer. What you can do, you go to the layers panel. And you can see you've got that new layer with that design on it. Now you could just work with that if you want. But what you can also do with that is you can convert it into a smart object. I always like working with smart objects. I love smart objects. So on that layer, just turn it from a normal layer into a smart object. But before that, you can just go to the layers panel and you can delete the background. Now you've got transparency. So layer menu and down to smart objects. Convert to smart object. Now, anything you apply can be changed. You can remove the adjustments, you can remove the styles, you can remove the filters, etc. And you can change the settings at any point. I'm just going to quickly add a bevel to this. Don't have to, you could just use what you've got there. Of course, the design itself is quite a nice design. You could use that in your designs. You could just duplicate the design whatever you want, or maybe store it away in the uh, CC library. Just giving it a drop shadow as well. But you could also apply a color overlay, gradient overlay, etc. Once you've finished with that, click OK. So now you've got your design, you've got it on a transparency, you've got no background. So what you can do, you can also, you can recolor it if you wish as well. Don't have to, and the filters. Apply a filter, oil paint, stylize and oil paint. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep that, but you could apply filters. You could apply blurs and many others. Maybe some of the gallery effects. But you can also now, it's got, the transparency, you can go to the edit menu and you could create it as a brush, but you can also define pattern. Now it's a pattern, you can use it with the standard patterns. 
via the edit menu and fill. Of course, you could use it with as a background for shapes and other things as well. But I'm going to use it with the fill command. So edit and fill. And make certain the content is pattern. Make certain the script is on. And I'm actually what I'm going to do before I do that. You don't have to do this. I'm just going to create it as a layer. I like to do it onto layer. So create a new layer by layer menu and then edit and fill and then pattern. Select the pattern you just defined. Make certain the script is on. I always deselect it and then reselect it because Photoshop, for some weird reason, ignores that sometimes. Just runs whatever it wants. It runs a standard pattern. And then you can select like random fill or symmetry, etc. Just try them out. And each will have their own sort of wonderful designs. And you've got that design. Now, the preview will not match the end the end result. It doesn't look like that when you generate it, sadly. A little part of it, maybe, but not. You can vary the color, randomization. And just click OK. You can see the design there. As again, it's a very, very small part of that design that's been created. And you can run the others as brick fill, cross fill, cross weave. And again, I always do that. Symmetry fill, that's another one. And spiral, of course. So click OK there. Great thing about this one is that you've got the option for multiple types. So you can use seven. I use seven more often than not. But there are other ones that are very nice as well. And you can vary the height and width. And you can also vary the color randomization as well. And as this is applied on a layer, you could generate this design. As long as you change the scale correctly, so it doesn't fly off the edge of the document. This time, obviously, it does. You can create all kinds of beautiful designs very quickly using that. As so on a layer, you can always remove it. You can also duplicate it and then combine it with other things as well. And I'm using now, I'm going to use the spot again. I always check it and I use the spiral. And that generates another lovely design as well. But you don't have to use the selection that I've created. Of course, you could create many, many complex, different, multiple selections. Maybe use squares multiple times. I'm using circles or maybe other sort of shapes. I'll do a video on that probably next. But you can vary the spacing, vary the size, etc. And you can then generate a design there. Again, the preview does not match the end result in most cases. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, etc. Please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.